Glory be the name of Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you. Jesus, I honor you. Jesus, I glorify your name. You are a worthy God. We come before you this morning, Lord. We want to thank you for the life you have given us. We want to thank you for the privilege we have towards you, Jesus. We want to thank you because you love us. We love you, Jesus. You are wonderful. Wonderful God, I thank you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I commit this day into your hand, God. It is the day that women are celebrating. It is a women, women's day. And I commit this day into your hand, God, to remember all women all over the world where they are, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I lift them into your hand. I pray for the leaders, any leader, woman, any woman who is a leader, any leaders, women. Lord, I pray divine protection and I pray for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I commit all our women leaders into your hand. I press your name, I press your name, and I pray, Lord, protect them, help them, God, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, I come against the powers of abusing women, but the power and the blood of Jesus, I destroy them, I bind them, I render them powerless in the mighty name of Jesus. My God, I want to praise your name. I pray for, in the name of Jesus, every poverty in the women, I destroy them and I bind them, I render them powerless in Jesus' name. God, I want to lift your name up and thank you to bless your name, God. I bleed the blood of Jesus over this prayer. I plead the blood. I cover this prayer with the precious blood. I throw a wall of fire around this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus. Every children of the devil assigned by the enemy to bring destruction. I command them to be destroyed, to scatter, 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 scatter in the name of Jesus. Every destruction from the bottomless of the beat, the devil, Satan, wants to bring to these prayers. I destroy you. I bind you. I cast you. I lend you powerless. You will not manifest. You will not stand in this prayer in Jesus' name. Father, I want to thank you. I give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. I want to welcome. I want to welcome everyone to overcome as a deliverance and healing ministry. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Isigi. Welcome you once again. Welcome. I'm going to talk the subject called Breaking the Power of Evil Pattern of Failure and Lessness. This is the great enemy affecting many people, lives of people. They are the powers called Evil Pattern of Failure and Lessness. This pattern, it is in the family, it's a generational pattern. And it is a great enemy that is affecting career, affecting your jobs, affecting your marriage, affecting your children. It is a great, great enemy. Those days, our time, or our, 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 our culture, before a woman is being married or a man going to marry a woman, they have to investigate from the side of a man or a woman. Is these people, are they family of lazy? Are they family of burden of laziness? Will they bring the woman here to bring poverty in this home? Or is this man, is a rest man? He will marry our woman and our, our, our woman will go and suffer. So they were investigating and find out if this family, they are a less bust family, if they have pattern of evil, fairy, and laziness. So they will find out. When they found out, they will say, no, we can't give you our lady. We can't give you our woman. We can't give you our daughter. We can't give you our daughter. And th that man, the man will be told, we can't, you, you can't marry our daughter or we, we can't have you. They have to put the roadblock because they knew that there is a disaster, there is a problem to marry in a, a lazy family or a failure family. They were, they were, they were, you know, you know those people? They were not like us. They were investigating. They were, they were sinners. Yeah, they were evil. But they, they, they understood how to choose their, their, their partners. But these days. You just go into anywhere without even knowing where you are going. Now, the spirit of lessness, the power of lessness or the power of evil pattern, it is a power that makes many people to fail. 
it is a it is a it's a it's a spirit it's not a good thing that you can pray or you can joke with it is something that you must go with a very aggressive and address it you have to this you have to pronounce and condemn the enemies of your career be paralyzed permanently be destroyed by fire in the mighty name of jesus these powers, they are the enemies of your careers. They are the enemies of your family. They are the enemies of your soul. They are the enemies of your spirit. They are the enemies of your body. So you have to address them properly. You have to address this pattern, this evil pattern of failure and lessness. You know, they will make sure you will not achieve anything. Now you get discouraged. You become lazy. You start sleeping. You become post uh, procrastination. You always postpone things. You always postpone things. You have you are not focused. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. I am helping you. I am coming to teach you. Today is more or less like teaching. Not, 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 not preaching. Teaching. I want to teach you. I want to pray that God will help you. These videos, it is one to help your family. It is one to help you, even myself. I am one to check where I'm wrong, where I need to um, put effect. More, I'm one to, uh, to improve myself. Even me, it is one to help me to, to see the areas that I need to improve. And then I can go there and, and, and improve myself. This message is to make sure that you check your areas where you need to, be, to, to improve. And the God will help you in Jesus' name. You need to pray like this. Pray like this. You enemies of my career, be paralyzed permanent forever in Jesus' name. You enemies of my career, be paralyzed permanent forever. Never rest again in my family, in my life, in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that Father, Father, break every pattern in my life and my family in Jesus' name. Father, break every pattern, every evil pattern, every spirit of failure in my family. Break it, break, break, break in Jesus' name. One people, uh, another people, other people are lazy because they see their situation has been so hopeless that they cannot even uh, even begin to talk, to, to think through it, let alone address it. You know, other people are lazy because they see their situation as being hopeless first of all you find yourself you become hopeless you look at the situation you look you look you become hopeless you cannot even think that to, to address it alone because these people do not have the ability to think it through and address their situation it could be argued that they are not truly lazy and to some extent, the, the same could be said of all lazy people. In other words, they are very concept of restless, uh, press, press, purpose, the ability to choose not to be lazy. That is, press, press, purpose, the existence of free will. You know, this is where some people are stuck. Some people, they feel hopeless. They don't think properly. They don't go through why they are becoming so, what is going on. They look at their situation. Maybe they have no money. They don't have anything. Uh, they have no, nobody helping them. So they decide to do anything to get money. They, they think they can steal. They can think how to con people. This is where in the situation of laziness and, and think that is where many people, they come in and start thinking how to get money and then at the end they, 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 they lose hope and they become hopeless now they can be driven with anything procrastination rest should not be confined with the procrastination uh, uh, or idleness procrastination or idleness is is that people some people they like to postpone things I will do this next day. I will do this. I will do this. And then time is not waiting. Time, you, no, no matter what it is, time cannot wait for you. Time is counting. Days, numbers, years are continuing there. You continue postponing, postponing until you are out of age or until you miss that thing because of procrastination or idols. 
you are so idols, so idol, idol, so idols makes you you can't do anything. You better you feel like you better sleep. You feel sleep, Mr. Sleep becomes so good. Mr. Sleep or Mrs. Sleep becomes so good. You become a friend of Mrs. Sleep or Mr. Sleep. You don't worry. You just literally like two minutes or three minutes you have gone. That's how you are. That is laziness. That is idols. That is the power. That is the pattern. And if you investigate the family background, you find that your family, there were some people like that. They were people who are, they like begging. They like conning people. They like stealing. They don't know, they don't want to work. They are less to work. Yes? And this is a spirit. It is not them. It is not all this is the enemy. It, the enemy is behind it. So you have to do, you have to deal with. You ask yourself why. Oh, they, they, they go in another way. They go and they broke your job. They, 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 they broke your careers. They broke everything you are doing. They went in the, on your back and broke you. When they block you everywhere, so you feel discouraged, you give up. You, you've been looking a job for a job for a long time. You have no job because of this power of, of pattern, failure, and lessness. They are the, the powers in your family. These powers, they will follow you and, and, and put that spirit on you. That's why you need to pray very hard. It will go with prayer and fasting in Jesus' name. That's why you need to join us. You need to join our prayer. You need to join our ministry so that we can lead you. We can pray together. One, where two or three are gathered in the ministry is there. You alone, you can't do it. Yes, I know you can do it, but you need you need to pack up. You need enforcement. You have been praying around praying. You need partner. You need partners so that you can join and we can pray. Like we finish our 21 days and we are going to have another three days, that is 73, 72 hours. We will be praying. Now, so we pray, we pray, we pray. All those partner, partners will be destroyed and you will be set free. Post, uh, post castination is to postpone a task in favor of other tasks with it through preserve as easy or more pressurable are topically less important or urgent. You, you see, it is not urgent. It's not urgent. It's not important. Let me postpone, postpone. You become procrastination. Post, 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 postpone a task for cons consecutive or strategic Purpose does not amount to procrastination. For it is amount to procrastination, the, the, the postponement, postpone, postponement as to represent poor and ineffective planning and result in high overall from stress. Yes, it is it will bring a result or postponement as to represent poor and ineffective planning and result in high over, overall cost to the procrastination. For example, in the form of stress, guilt, or rules of, of protective, it is one thing to delay, to delay. You, there's, there's, there's a, a delay of something that maybe you are filing the return, return, return tax, tax return, so you, you will delay because you are looking, you are waiting for the paper to file everything together. That is not procrastination. Oh, that is not postponing. That is you, you waiting time to do something and you have to do it by all means. But post, procrastination is postponing things you have no time. Every time it, you postpone one year, two years, three years, four years, you continue postponing, postponing, you have no time for, for the thing. That, that is very bad. That is a spirit and you have to address it. Why are you postponing? What is wrong? Why can't you go straight away to do the, the something? Why do you fear of guilt? Why do you fear that you are one to fail, you are one to do this? You continue postponing until you waste your time. You go for it. God will help you in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God, Jesus is good. You, you keep on, you keep on locking. The Bible says, seek, knock, the door will be open. You don't have to postpone, no matter, even if, if you fail, you are not the first one to fail. You will fail, but you are not going to stay there. You will rest up, yes? 
the day is not that denial you will you will listen but if you you feel you fear you you stay there and then you will totally fail you will never rest up you become idol and then you become a partner to your a partner a, a, a pattern a pattern to your family you become a, a pattern to a pa family you, you when the family sees you they feel like they don't want to see you 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 nobody wants they will reject you they don't like you they don't love you because you have refused to work for yourself People cannot understand what you are going through, but they will understand when you go to your knees and pray and connect with the support team, with the prayer team. People can support you and pray and ask them, I've been looking for a job. I don't have anything. I don't have money. God is able to provide for any need you are looking for. If you cannot be faithful with the little, then you cannot be faithful. God is watching and waiting for you to, 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 start, to start working up, to start working for that, that demon, that pattern, that evil pattern that has been assigned by the enemy. You have to break it. You have to cast it. You have to denounce. You have to know. You have to agree. You have to accept that you have a problem. You need help. You have to go to counsel. You have to be teachable. You know people like that, they are not teachable. You cannot tell them anything. They are very angry. They are angry and fighting all the time. They fight a lot. One lady, she called me. No, she sent me an email. Said she wants me to pray for her. But because I had some other issues, I had some things to do. And she's not the only one that I would pray for her. So I didn't respond to the email straight away. Now the next email, the same day, the woman wrote to me a very rude letter. And like, like she's fighting me. Like I, I have refused to pray for her. So you see such a people, nothing good will happen to them. They are already want to attack you. They are already charging you. They don't listen. They want to fight you. That is the spirit of laziness and the spirit of failure. Yeah. People like that, they know, they know very well. And the, to protect, the, the way they protect themselves is to become angry and fighting you and changing words. When you talk with somebody, you look, you see this somebody, you ask the person, why are you not working? What, what, what have you done that all this time you have not been working? That's why you have to give history of your working. What happened? Were you sick? Are you having problem? Why? What have you done since here? You can go to frontier. You can say now, God, I'm frontiering myself so that I'm waiting for my, my job. You don't have to sit down. Thinking of how to, to do evil, harm yourself, thinking evil. You can frontier, even you can go to the church and state the pastor, pastor, I can frontier here. If there's no job, I can frontier two hours, one hour to read the Bible or to do something here in the church. If you have no job, you have nothing, I can read the Bible and I will speak to the, this word of God and God will help me. You don't have to stay idols you are not reading the bible you are not re praying you are not you are not as seeking help how can god help you for sure you become an enemy if your idol is bad make sure that you work you do something if you have nothing to do at all you have been looking for a job you, are, you sit down take the bible say god i have no job i have nothing I, and God, you know me, I'm taking my Bible, I'm going to meditate upon this, and I'm, I'm waiting for my job. I am breaking every pattern in my family. I'm breaking every enemy that is responsible for my, 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 my situation right now. I am representing my situation into your hand, and I break them. You pray, you read the Bible. Now you keep on, you keep on looking. Go, go to the, go to the church. Go to the group, uh, group, group, uh, team, team, uh, group. Uh, yeah, uh, is it called house group? Yeah, home Bible study. Study the word of God. Share with them. Tell them I have a problem. I'm not lazy. I'm I want to work, but the enemy wants to make me lazy. I'm not lazy. You refuse. You say I'm not a fairy. I'm not a tail. I am. I am the head. I. I'm. I'm moving on. I. Am, I cannot go backward. Then you. You will fight. Not. Not sit down to be angry. To be jealousy. Enemies. You. You are an enemy with everybody. You turn yourself to be an enemy of everybody. When you see people with anything, you feel bad. You feel so bad. You. You cannot succeed. You can't because of your attitude. Your heart. So today God is talking to you through me to come out from that box. And we are going to look in the scripture from the book of 2 Thessalonians 
3, verse 11 to 12. 2 Thessalonians 3, verse 11 to 12. The Bible says, For we hear that some among you walk in idleness, not busy at work, but busy bodies. Now such a persons we command and encourage in the Lord Jesus Christ to do their work quietly and to earn their own living. Apostle Paul, he was a teacher and he was teaching because there are some people who are a body, who are beast bodies. These things, they are room among us. They, they, they gossip. They know everything. They will, and they don't, they, don't, they don't even know. Their work is just talk, 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 gossip. They are information without pay. They, they pass information. They are, they are CNN. But CNN, they are paid to give information. But you, you are not paid. So you find yourself so busy. Paul has said that such a people, please be encouraged to do, to do your work and hand your living. Do your work. Make sure that the work you are doing, you are handing. You are not working free. You have to work something that you will hand. This gossip, you hear something, you call people, you, you tell them, you say this. Are you being paid? Who has told you to, to be busy, busy, busy like that? You just pick things without even reasoning properly. You run to it. You just be busy you are for, you are for no reason. Yeah, You waste your time. You go to place to place. You call people. You gang together. You waste your time. And at the end of the day, nothing. Nothing. You are not paid. So Paul is recommending you, please, earn your own living. Some people, I used to, in my, in my back home, I used to see people. They wake up early in the morning. They walk from street to street. All the street they walk around. And then they go when they, they go to the to the bar to the hotels and they look. If they see anybody, they know. If they see you, they run. Please buy me a soda. Please buy me tea. That is their work. And they go to the next. If they know you, you they will come to your table and ask you. Please buy me a cup of tea. So you because you're embarrassed, you just say okay, get it. Or they, they sit in a place, when they see you, they know you, please give me a ticket, give me a bus ticket. And then, even here, even here, Canada, you may see some people, they, they are sitting or they are watching somebody, they will ask you, give me, give me a change, give me a change. Every day, that's their work. They don't want to work, they don't want to do anything. They want to get easy. That is not nice. Okay. Look at the, let's look at another scripture from the book of James 4, 17. James 4, 17. The Bible says, So whoever knows the light thing to do and fails to do it, for him it is sin. It is sin. If you know something you want to do and you don't do it, it is sin. You know very well you have to work and, 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 and provide food and provide yourself for, for your family. But you don't do it. It is sin. It is sin. It's not easy. You have to do something that will help you and your family. This is sin. Because I've said before, laziness, failure, uh, is, 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 is a pattern, it's a spirit, it's a pattern. Now there's this pattern that some people you know very well. People have knowledge, but they don't want to use that knowledge. Some people, they are really gifted with so much gift, but they don't use it. I was talking with her dear sister. She has a lot of knowledge, but she refused to use it. I even invited her to the ministry. I told her, you have a gift, uh, this gift, and I see God can use you in this field. She refused. She became an enemy. When I was talking to her, I was trying to help her. She became really an enemy. We don't talk now because I was telling her that, please, I can help you. This is, I see you. You, you are even, a, you can do, and you have so much, but the person is going down. She's so poor. She has nothing. She doesn't have anything. And she's in this country. Yeah. So I, I, I said, my sister, I, I can help you. You come, we'll, we'll talk, we'll pray. we pray together. Join the prayer. Join our prayer. We can, I can help you. Even if, you if, if, even if I pray for you, if you don't take action, nothing will work. You have to take action. This is a button. I pray, I break the spirit of lessness. I break the spirit of failure. God will help you. Now the, the sister felt, think that I'm wrong. She is looking for, uh, for support from the government, and the government have no, are, are refused 
to give her the source of warfare. Now she feels so bitter, she feels very bad, she, she cast the government, she feels bad because now the government, have, I, for no reason, I don't know, but they, because they have, she abused, when she was given the first time, she abused it. Now the government cannot give her the second time because of she is abuser. And she has knowledge, she has so much. She knows a lot of stuff. She, she has no, and she's educated. She has a, she has a master's, master's degree. She is so educated, but she has refused to work and do something. That's sin. You know, it is hard, but God is able to deliver you and break every pattern that will make you to, 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 be, to, to not work in Jesus' name. Now, in the book of, uh, in the book of Hebrews, Hebrews 3 verse 16, the Bible says, do not neglect 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 to do good and to share what you have for such a sacrifice are pleasing to God. So this is what if you know what you are doing and we can like the information I'm giving you, it will help you. It will help you. It will deliver you. It will deliver somebody. If I know business, if I know that you can, you are good in business, and I know that there is a place where you can go and buy some some stuff, some clothes, and you sell it to get your money, to get your 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 your, your, your daily bread, I can help you. But some people they know, but they can't open their mouth and share. They don't talk to people. That is sin and evil. Some people they have ideas, but they have they have no capital to do the business. We trust God that God will help you in Jesus' name. So when you work, when you, you show yourself you, to, that you will work, God will help you. Even if you have no job, you will find yourself that I, I can do something. I can go and help anywhere. I need to do something. God will help me. God will bless the work of my hand in Jesus' name. Then call ministers, call prayers, call the prayers to help you to break the chains that are in your hand, to, to wash you with oil, your hands, your feet, so that you can be able to work. That demon of restlessness must be broken. You don't want prayer. You don't want ministers to pray for you. You don't want anybody to correct you. How you want to survive? That is a that is evil. That is that's why we call it evil pattern of failure and and lessness. That is evil pattern of failure and lessness because those those accessories they cannot let you to be teachable. They can't let you to be to 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 be to reason. Now you become arrogant. You become angry. You fight people. You are fighting your family. You are fighting your sisters and brothers. Them, they are working hard, they, are, they, they have jobs, but you are very, you work against them, you gossip them, you, you even, I remember there was this case. I'm sorry to, to share this, it's a long time ago. These are the family, they are, they are sisters and brothers, and the, the sisters, one, two sisters, they successfully managed to go to university and they got the jobs. And the two sisters, they didn't succeed, they didn't get jobs. Instead, they, they gave children to, they, 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 were, they become pregnant and have children, and, they, and have children. Now, these two sisters, they were envying to the other two sisters. And then the two sisters gang together and started fighting the other sisters, to the, those ones who are working. Do you know the same sisters, they went to the boyfriend of the elder sisters and they give the, 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 the boyfriend the boyfriend, another, 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 another girlfriend, and then they gossip their own sisters. They gossip their sister against the boyfriend, and they gave him a, 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 a girl. And then this girl, she managed to call. She called the. She called the, that, that sister and told her that you know I am with your boyfriend because your boyfriend told me that she doesn't. He, he doesn't love you, and your sister is with me here. As your sister confirmed that 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 he doesn't love you anymore, yeah. Now that sister, she was heartbreak. She felt bad, and then it already become in, and then they were not able to talk for years about so many years. 
until when I came to discover the, what they are going through is when I called them and I said, this is the power of restlessness. You, the younger sister, if you were working, you are doing your own business, you could not bring trouble to your sister like this. Now you have caused your sister to be sick and depressed because of your laziness. You don't want to work. You want to gossip. You want to bring troubles to, their, to, their, to, their, to, their, to the life of your sister. Look what you have done. But they didn't go far. And then something happened. You see, when people are lazy, that's what they plan, to disgrace you, to plan against you, to be destroyed. But you focus. Be focused. Don't mind them. Be focused. That's why people, they die and they even commit suicide. They have refused to work. They have refused to do the right thing. They are enabling to other people. And then they end up depressed and feel bad about themselves. They reject themselves. The Bible says in the book of Genesis 2, verse 15, the Bible says, The Lord, the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to work it and keep it. You know, God himself. Put the man in the in the in the in the in the, in the garden of Eden, I, garden of Eden to work. He did not give them the man the the garden to be idle there. He gave them the, the garden to work in it so that they can get their living, they can get their daily bread, they can work. They were not idols. God told them work and eat from there, but don't eat the fruit that I've, I've told you not to eat. Just eat everything. This is your territory. This is your place. Enjoy. Work there. You see, God has created us to work, not to be idols, not to be a beggar, not to be bring problems to our families, to work and honey our daily bread. But because of this spirit, people, they need easy, they need easy life. You see, they need easy life. They don't want, they need to beg. They want to, 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 to give up a people problem. Yeah? Even me, people are calling me. Many people, they call me, I am working, I am doing this. They, they, they don't want even to give an offering. They don't want even to support. They want free things. They want, free, because I'm a pastor, I'm a, I'm a prophet, they want free things. It, that, it cannot work that way. If you are the, such a type of a person, nothing will work for you. Forget, I will pray for you, but nothing will work for you. That is out. I'm telling you, I'm not cursing you. That is how it is. When God says, bring ye all your tithe and offering, and let my house have meat, it, it means that's why people are cursed. That's why people are going through some difficult, some hard time. How can you go to the prophet of God and you want the, the man or the woman of God to pray for you, praying for all, all the time from evening to, to even at night, people are being attacked, they are calling you, and you have never, never even donate or give anything to this person. Yeah? It's not your pastor. It's, you have a pastor where you give your tithes and offering. Your pastor cannot be able to pray for you. Now you are going to other pastors to pray for you and free. It, it, it doesn't work like that. You have to, you have to touch the heart of God. If you want God to bless you, yes, you might not have anything. But remember, when you give your heart, when you donate even your time, when you give your time and 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 and, and that uh, heartfulness, God will see your heart. We, we, we see the story of Jesus, the story of Jesus, what Jesus was doing during his time. When he was watching people, how they, how they were supporting his work. Jesus looked at the basket and saw people were devoted, voluntarily, willingly giving. Not that they, was, they were rich. Some were rich, yes, thank you. Some were poor, but they tried. They know that Jesus was doing a good job. They know that Jesus is serving. They went there to give to Jesus, the Son of God. They were donating. They were giving. They were donating because Jesus was uh, stopped his work. He was a carpenter, but he, now he was serving them. Then he, the people has to feed him. How can you come to me every day, all the time, without anything? Do you want me to go without eating? Do you want me to beg? I can't. And that's why God cannot bless you. If you bless me, you will be blessed. Remember what God told Abraham. Those people who blessed Abraham, they were blessed. Those people who were cursing Abraham, no one was successful. They died. Yeah? So that's how it is. You, you can be led to death and fail completely because you don't want help. You don't want to move. You, you, you want to remain there. God will help you in Jesus' name. Call me, I will help you in Jesus' name. Look at this. God himself puts the family 
He created Adam and Eve and it gave them the garden of Eden and told them enjoy, work. No laziness here. We don't, I don't create any res, laziness. It is you who created that the enemy. Now look at the book of uh, Timoth. Timoth, the second Timoth 2 verse 15. The Bible says, do you your best to present you? Do your best to pre present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, lightly handling the work, the word of truth. You see, do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, a worker who has no who has no need to be ashamed? You are not ashamed. If you are a worker, if you are a good worker, if you are a good worker, you are not ashamed. A good worker can be even if you are given a job anywhere, work good, do good without even looking supervisor, without checking your managers. If you have been given, I ask, sometimes I assign people to read the scripture, I assign people to, to, to do prayer and worship, but the people, they become something. They think that... It, um, 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 I, 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 it's wrong. They don't want to do it. They are lazy. They, they, they are lazy. They don't want to do even to read the scripture. They, bec they it become a button, a problem for them. That's lazy. And how can God help such a people? If even His word, that not not that because you don't know how to read, because you you are lazy to read even the word of God. <laughs> good you know this the bible says if you are faithful to somebody's vision then god will trust you with yours but if you have never been faithful you never been you don't you don't you don't trust people you don't love people you 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 you, you are just there how can god trust you with yours god has told you be honest with your your, your neighbor love them be be trusted here you are working you are working in an office. Your boss is not there. Don't steal. Don't rob the time. That is not the time of texting, doing your reading. You are there to work, work. When your break time is, go to, to read your Bible, listen, text. But when you are particularly in that time you have been given, you have been assigned, you do the work. Unless you are not busy or if, 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 if there is no busy or you are not doing anything, that is another story. But if you have been hired eight hours per day, you, are, you work one hour is, is your break time, which means you work seven hours. This seven hours, be faithful with those hours. And then God is watching you. Be good, a good worker. And then you will not be ashamed. You will not be disgraced. Be good, work. Anything you do, be good. I am here. Nobody is monitoring me. Nobody is checking me. But I have decided to discipline myself and do the right thing and I come to prayer as if I am being employed, as if I am working. I am committing myself in this and I will commit myself until Jesus comes. I am not going to leave this because even if I, the Bible says where two or three are, 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 are there, is there. So I'm not I'm not looking for the crowd. I'm not looking for for small number. I'm not no, I'm not looking for big number. I am doing the will of God that God has called me to do. Whether you come or don't come, I am I will preach to myself. I will preach the wind. I will preach to the trees. I will do the work that God has called me. And I am discipline myself. I don't want to go all over where I hear this. I'm there all over all over. Yeah. A, a, a threat of masters, uh, a, a threat of charcoals of this, 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 a threat of all charcoals, but must of none. A threat of all charcoals, but must of none. You are everywhere. You hear this? I am there. Please pray for me. I, uh, there's, 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 I, there's something is coming up for this. Please pray for me. You are all over. You are not concentrating one thing. You are not uh, uh, doing one thing at a time. You want to be blessing everybody. When they are, the people are asking, you are there. Even your money, that is how it is. You scatter your money. When you hear the preachers are preaching, putting pressure, pressure, you, you, you go to your, your visa, you give, you give, you give everywhere. Then at the end, you, you, you are broke. You have nothing and you have to pay those, the visa. And then at the end of the month, when you pay, you, you, you remain with nothing. Because you don't control your, 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 you are uncontrollable. Just breathe out and think. Don't be easy. 
Yeah? The enemy knows your weakness. So he uses your weakness to make you to become a beggar. So you every day like that, you are like that, you are like that. I press the woman of God. I press the man of God. If you bless them genuinely, God will show you through. God will bless you. But if you bless a man of, of woman, a man and a woman of God, and you are going broke, broke, broke every day, check your giving. Stop. Because you are not giving in a genuine. You are not giving. You are giving to show. You are not giving because you are giving. You are giving to show all you are. You are giving to 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 to, 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 to take uh, to be dictator or to control. You are giving is the sign of controlling. You want to capture the pastor's mind. You want to capture the pastor the, so that you can be able to control. You are giving is that is as motion as 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 a hidden agenda. By, by the power in the blood of Jesus, every giving person who gives by uh, with the with the hidden agenda, let it be wasted and be removed. Even in my ministry, I don't know, I don't want such a people because they, they have no life. They are giving because they have hidden agenda. If they don't get that position, they are looking. You will not see them again. Hallelujah! Praise be the name of Jesus. Yes, do the right thing, do good, and then you will be blessed. The Bible says in here, the Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 9, verse 24 to 27. 1 Corinthians 9, 24 to 27. The Bible says, do you not know that in a race all learners run, but one only receives the price? So run that you may obtain it. Every Atlantic, every Atlantic exercise self-control all things they do it to receive a, a perishable wealthy uh, wrath but we an infamous imperishable so i do not run aimlessly i do not box as one beating the hair but i discipline my body and keep it under control lest after preaching to others i myself should be disqualified you know this Paul is saying here that Paul is not is not doing uh, things that he putting uh, beating the hair. He has discipline himself. When learners they learn, when when they they do a lot of practice, they learn they run they run marathon. They run until they win the prize. It is not the rest person to win the marathon prize. So Paul is saying that I do not box as one beating the hair, but I discipline my body and keep it under control. So you have to discipline yourself. You see, this is clear. This is an example that Paul is giving us. This is what Paul is saying to us. If you can run, if you can run, run good to the practice to win. There was this man who won, uh, who, who, who got the, uh, is it the Olympic, Olympic gold? from Jamaica, this tall man who was running 100 meters, the man had practice. He, has, yeah, he did a lot of practice and he, 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 he had the confidence that no matter what it is, I'm going to win. I'm going to win. I'm not going to lose. So he did his best. He ran and then he win. He win the prize. He win the gold. That's how you do. You keep on. You don't give up. You don't. You have to discipline yourself. You discipline yourself, ask yourself some question. Why am I like this? Why is it that I, I love sleeping so much? I sleep a lot. Why that I cannot do the things that the other people are doing? Why is it that like I, I am always postponing things? Why? This is a pattern. This is evil. This is a spirit. I, I curse you. I destroy you. Some people, they don't want because they don't go to church. They don't pray. So the enemy... Is using them to destroy their life completely. Rest up from that bed. Rest up. Start doing things for yourself. Look for a group of prayer. There are so many things. There are a lot of things in the internet, in the radio, in the website, in Periscope, which can help you, which can keep you busy. Don't sit down or sleep all the day. Don't be Come angry with somebody's his blessings. If you are, if you see your brother is blessed, thank God and say mine is coming. Don't be angry. Don't be bitter. Don't feel bad. 
You know, some people, that is how you, 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 you lose your blessing. If somebody has been blessed, be happy. Say, God, thank you. It is me next time. I know mine is coming. I thank you for so and so. I appreciate for the blessings you are blessed so and so. Then you, you become bitter. But some people, if they hear, if they know that you are going to get something, they would even work so hard to lose that thing. I have said this testimony all the time. There was a lady. She was going to get a job. And she con they, were, they confirmed. She was confirmed. Everything was going to happen. Now the enemy, when they had is going to get the job, they went there and broke that lady and said the lady is restless. The lady is, is nothing. So they, 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 they make sure that, that that lady has lost the job and they to give to their relative. But the relative, they give the job. They, they don't, she doesn't know that job. Yeah, you see, people are so wicked and evil, but that is not your case. Your story is different. Your story is different. You have to fight. You have to fight. Like the Paul was saying, you have to run. You have to practice. You have to refuse. You have to protect your job. You have to protect your, your work. You have to protect everything you are doing. You ask the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus protect my job. Blood of Jesus protect me. Jesus will protect you. Say anybody. That wants to attack my, the work of my labor, the work of my hand. Let them die. You call dead sentences. Call that person to die. You don't joke with an enemy who wants to make you suffer, to become a beggar, miserable, become hard life. You have to refuse. You command sent, dead sentences to fall upon those people. You have, to, you have to show very serious. Even prayer is work. Prayer is work. It's not easy. It's not easy. And you check your family. If this family, they are poor, your mother was poor, your father was poor, your grandmother was poor, that is a pattern of failure and laziness. So now it is coming to you. Refuse it. Say, no, no, I'm a child of God. Jesus died because I want to be rich. Jesus died for me to be rich. I don't want to fall the pattern of my family. I don't want to fail. What your father fail, what your parents fail, it is not going to fail you in Jesus' name. I came, I, personally, I came, where I came from is poverty, very poor people, very, very poor. I came from a poor family, the, the generation of poor, poverty, but I declare a war. If any of you go back to my home, my country, you will see. I declare a war of poverty against my life. I said, when I, even I didn't, I was not a Christian. I said, I'm going to go to school. I will never be poverty. I will never be poor by all means. And that's how it came. Yeah. I was raised up by my sister because my parents were not there. I, I was raised up. And this sister also, she, she became a widow. And now she became very poor. She didn't have anything. So I said, I will help you. I will help you. And then that is how it happened. It, I, 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 I made it. No matter what it is, I know which crab are there. I know there's a pattern of, of, of poverty in my family. But I'm not their candidate. I'm not the one to take it. Um, I refuse it, and I refuse it. Words are very powerful. Whether you are a Christian or none, you, when you use your words properly, it will stand. It, it will work. I, I, even in this country, when I found myself that I'm, I'm going to be poverty, I'm going to be poor, I refused. I said, no, 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 I refuse in Jesus' name. I refuse, and I can do, because I can work, I can do everything with my work, my hand. I will refuse. When I started working, I was working in a restaurant and it was not enough to pay the rent to support my family. And then I found it was difficult for me. Even when I, <clears throat> I went to, to do the jo two jobs, I said, no, something, I must do something here. I had to go to school back, to, to school again and make my, my, my grade up so that I can get better pay. And I, through the grace of God, I was able to start working again to get better wages, better work, until God has asked me to give my job to do the full-time, the work that I'm doing. And he has been very faithful, very faithful, very faithful to me. I know, yes? So, I worked. I did a lot of stuff back home, and I thank God what I did. Even here, I've never been lazy. I have been working. I want to work in a place where it was a very hard job, but I said I have to work until God will rescue me from this place. I was working there until God rescued me from that place. I didn't care. I was working until the manager came to me and told me, Christine, 
I've seen you. You are doing a good, good job. Come, I want to talk to you. Can you can you do this? How much do you know the computer? I said, I know I have knowledge about the computer. <laughs> then he rescued me from the job where I was doing, and he told me he told me to come and work in the office. Yeah, I I when I was working, I was doing the job good. I good even at the restaurant. I was working at a McDonald's restaurant. And I can go and clean the table, clean the toilet, clean everywhere. I when I'm 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 not working. I, I was working in the kitchen. I ran to the table <laughs> to clean the place because I said, "Here I am. The presence of God must appear." Yeah, I am representing God. So people were envying, were jealousy on me because when I'm, I'm when it is not busy, I ran to the to the to the ropey. I cleaned there, and they said. It's a clean, there's somebody who's, who's paid to clean. I said, I, I have to do something. The manager noticed me. Also, there they noticed me that I'm not their last person. So they, the position was following me. One day, the manager asked me, I want you to become a manager for young people. These young people, you can be a manager and, and help them. So because I was preparing for my destiny for a for big job, so I said, no, I'm leaving. And that's why I leave, and I was, I got blessed me. Yeah, you have to show yourself. Prove yourself. That's how it is. You have to work. Let's look at the book of... Uh, ah, yes, thank you, Jesus. I'm going to pray for you soon. Yes. The book of Ecclesiastes 9, verse 10. The book of Ecclesiastes 9, verse 10, the Bible says, Whatever what, what, whatever your hands finds, do it. Do do it with your might, for there is no work, all thought, all knowledge, all wisdom in this, in the, in the, in, 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 in Shiro, in, in Shiro, to which you are going. Shiro. Yes, Shiro to which you are going. So the Bible says, what, whatever, whatever your hand find to do, do it with your might. If God has given you a job, no matter you don't like that job, but you have you got the job, you have the job. Do it with your whole strength. Do it with your mighty. Do it with your strength. By there, God will remove you, will take you from that position. Do it without complaining, without seeing it. You know, people they complain and they cast the job, and then the devil hears, and then they say, Okay, you cast this job which giving you the bread, which paying your rent, which give you the gas for your car, and you are casting. Then I will see how you are going to work in that job. Then you become miserable, hard, hatred, everything turn against you. Please change your behaviors, and God will help you in Jesus' name. Uh, let's look in the book of uh, uh, Proverbs 10, verse 5. The Bible says, Who gathers in summer? Is prudent, prudent son, but who sleeps in harvest is a son who brings shame. You know, some people they, they sleep during summer, during winter. The Bible says they bring shame. Uh, the book of Romans 12, verse 11, the Bible says, Do not be as slothful, uh, slothful in sale, be flint in spirit, serve the Lord. The God will help you. In the book of uh, Hebrews 12, verse 11, the Bible says, For the moment all of this, all, all of this spring seems uh, painful, rather than present, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. You know, discipline seems painful. When you are being disciplined, when you are told, do this, work hard, you feel like you are being abused, you feel bad, but at the, at the end of the day, it would be it would be peaceful. It would help you. Yes, nobody is going to kill you when you are when you are being disciplined. When you are told to work, uh, during the choir, some the the, 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 the the there was a choir master. He was training the choirs, the choir, and this man was very hard to the choir. He can even slap them. He can beat them physically. But the, the, those who were surviving, they continue. But some they leave. They they discontinue. The choir became the most successful choir and, and having so many, many, many CD and it was the best and, and the best choir in today because they survived. They were disciplined, but the master, the master choir was helping them to train them. And now the choir won and they make a lot of money, a lot of money. I'm telling you now. Hallelujah. Praise Peter name. There are more and more and more. I want to pray. I want to pray for you. 
You pr break the, the evil pattern of failure at the gate of success with prayers. You can break the evil pattern of divorce with prayers. You can break the evil pattern with prayers. You can break the evil pattern of, 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 of failure and lessness with prayers. Prayer, I pray now in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to pray by the power in the blood of Jesus. I take the authority in the name of Jesus Christ. I am praying by the power in the blood of Jesus. You, every, every power prolonging stagnancy, every power prolonging anything you are doing and that you are lazy, let them die. Let, let them be destroyed. Let them be rendered powerless in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every power that wants to waste your destiny, be wasted in Jesus' name. Yes, I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus. You power, you, 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 you power of failure, frustration, backwardness. I command you to die in the name of Jesus. May the power to find your you you pair in the channel of life come fall upon you in Jesus' name. I pray that ever desert arrows fired into your life. I command them to fire to, to, to be to backfire, to fire to be backfire in Jesus' name. Every desert arrows fired against your life, fired into your work, fired into your hand, the work of your hand, the work of your labor. Let them cut fire and burn to ashes. Desert these are the arrows. They are the arrows that does not want you to have anything. They can be fired into your hand. Anything you touch, it is, it is destroyed. You have bad hands. Therefore, I pray every desert arrows in your hands, let them catch fire. Let them be destroyed. Let them be rendered powerless in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus, let Holy Ghost fire enter into your hands. Let Holy Ghost fire enter into your hands and break every chains. Destroy every chains. The satanic cobwebs, snakes biting your hands, the work of your labor, let Holy Ghost fire enter into your hands in the mighty name of Jesus. In the, my, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord my Father, I pray and decree by the power and the blood of Jesus. I command laziness, the demon of laziness, to come out of your life, to come and go back where it came from, in the mighty name of Jesus. The restless demon, hear the word of God. Leave these people and go back where you came from in Jesus' name. These people, they are not various. You are the varia in the mighty name of Jesus. My God and my Father, I commit your people into your hand. I pray and decree by the power in the blood of Jesus. You raise, you, you raise spirit attacking the, the career of this person. You are a liar. I destroy you. I bind you. I curse you. I command you to die in Jesus' name. The power, the, the, the evil pattern of, of restlessness attacking your work, attacking the work of your labor, attacking anything you are doing. You are a liar. I destroy you. I bind you. I command you to catch fire. Come out in Jesus' name. Which club laziness programmed in your life to become lazy that you don't want to do anything? Let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. Every, every, every spells and chance that has been programmed in your life that have been spells that you cannot be able to do to do anything, let them die, let them cut fire, let them burn to ashes in Jesus' name. Spirit of lessness, spells in you, let them be destroyed. You spirit of witchcraft attacking this person through, through lessness, you are a liar. I command you to cut fire and burn to ashes. Lessness spirit, hear the word of God. Come out of this person. Come out, come out, come out. Come out. I break you. I destroy you. I render you powerless. You are a liar. You will not manifest. I set you fire. I command you to die. Be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. In the, names, in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I stand against you and I command you by the power and the blood of Jesus. Be rendered powerless. You are a liar. Be destroyed in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you. I love you so much. Please, if you are a person who is postponing procrastination, lazy, fairy at the gate of breakthrough, you need empowerment. You need people to pray with you. You need somebody to stand with you, to break the, the spirit that is making you. You cannot work. You can't do the job. That is lessness demon. That is lessness power attacking your job. They are from your generation, from your bloodline. They are 
They are after your job. They are after your money. They are after anything you are doing. They are the, the pattern, evil pattern. They are a pattern from your forefathers. So you have to stop them. I pray that God will set you free. Call me. Our number, hallelujah, praise be the name of Jesus. Our number is 905-792-3798. Our number is 905-792-3798. This is not a joke. Some people, you don't know why you can't get a job. You don't know why you are not working. The demon, the enemy, the spirit of witchcraft, that is called laziness, has been affecting you. They are behind your problem, and you have no idea. Then we will attack them and put them as stop. We have to, to tell them off from your life in Jesus' name. Therefore, people of God, I love you so much, and there's nothing I can do about it. Go to our website, www dot overcomers dh ministry dot blogspot dot ca plant a good seed god will help you in jesus name thank you very much and god bless you see you tomorrow the same time 9 p.m 9 a.m and 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 we don't have any any prayers until next week we'll start again 9 p.m but for now we are focusing on 9 a.m every day and god bless you this is your host prophetess dr christine is saying bye bye Bye-bye to you. Bye. I love you so much.